Now, because of his love for mankind, God sent his son into the world. He was the heir presumptive to the throne of the world. Do you understand presumptive? 这个是一同做宝座的哈，对世界来说，儿子他拆来的是跟天父一同坐在上帝的宝座上。To find that out, look at Psalm two. 我们来看看诗篇第二章。Maybe some of you memorized it. 啊，我们在这个诗篇第二章有一些的弟兄背过。Psalm two verse six. 在诗篇第二章的第六节 And it says, But as for me, I have installed my king upon Zion, my holy mountain. 在诗篇第二章的第六节说, 我已经立我的君在西安我的圣山上. Jesus came to earth, and he was the heir, a heir of the throne of the world. Uh, now, according to this verse, Zion was to be the site of that throne. 那么西安将要什么呢? Now, when Israel was formed as a nation, God was their king. Uh, Look at first Samuel. First Samuel eight uh, seven. Now, now Israel, up to now, God had been their king. Now when Samuel was, uh, was judge was of the uh, country, they came to Samuel and they said, We want a king like the other nations. And Samuel realized that what it was that they were, uh, this was not God's plan. And uh, he prayed to the Lord, and he said, Lord, he says, this isn't right. Should I do this? And then, and then he said in verse 7, And the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voices of the people in regard to all that they say to you, for they have not uh, rejected you, but they have rejected me, from being king over them. And so that God was their king. And uh,
This is what God had planned. This is what God had planned. And he had planned that the world's political structure would be with him as king. So when Jesus was born, he was announced uh, from this perspective. So when Jesus was born, he was announced you see, Magi came from the east uh, to Jerusalem. They were looking for the one born king of the Jews. Uh, That's Matthew 2 2, if you want to look it up later on. When they came in, it says, Where is he who is born king of the Jews? It's interesting, he didn't say, they didn't say, born to be king of the Jews, born king. You see, this position was from eternity. Now, these, these Magi knew that this king that they were looking for was not just an ordinary king. Uh, because it says they came to worship him. Uh, they came to worship him. Not just to do him homage. You see, when you come to a king, when you come to the ruler of the country, you recognize him as the ruler of the country. And in the old days, they went down on one knee. And they took his hand and they kissed his hand. And they worship, they come down on two knees, close and fold their hands and close their eyes. 崇拜一个人，你敬拜一个神的时候，你是做什么事情呢？你是双膝跪地，然后呢，是要呃，这眼睛闭起来以后，以头磕地。They don't dare to look at the one they are worshiping. He is too great. 当他们是敬拜神的时候，他们就不敢睁眼去看那个荣耀无比的那个这这个呃这个这个神，那个可可敬畏大而可畏的神。And these magi were coming to worship. The king, so they knew he was more than just king. So they now know the thing. They recognized him as the king of the Jews. Now it's interesting, by the fact that these magi were not Jews, they were Gentiles. Uh, there was one thing that was very strange. The God was saying, uh, this king who is coming is to be king of the world, not just Israel. But Israel will be the one to introduce him to the world. 那么这个以色列呢，承担什么责任呢？以色列承担的职职分乃是把耶稣啊和他的见证带向全人类，把这个福音传给世上的人。You see, if God does everything right, he he there is nothing absolutely nothing wrong in the way that he this this one was introduced. 
。呃，所以大家看见上帝的计划里面，当上帝介绍耶稣给世人的时候，它里面是没有任何的错误。一每每一件事都非常的到位，非常的准确，使得人不会啊、呃、不会搞错。Now, the the、um, God introduced、uh, this king to Israel by the angels, the star, and the magi. 呃，当耶稣降世的时候，上帝通过这三个方面来介绍，一个是通过天使来告诉世世上人，第二是通过天上那颗星。然后呢？第三，通过这三个东方来的外邦的博士。And、see, Israel was not looking for a king. Israel was just looking that the Romans be kicked out. 呃，我们这个知道以色列不是在寻找一个以色列人的君王，他们乃是来找一个以色列闹革命、反抗殖民地的这么一个革命的领袖，不是在找一个君王。But when the king came, God made sure that he was introduced correctly. 但是，当这个以生下来做全人类王的耶稣降世的时候，上帝要确定他的介绍耶稣的身份的时候，不会有偏差。The angels、uh, introduced him to the shepherds. 所以，天使是把这个大好的信息传给野地里放羊的牧羊人。The magi saw his star. In the in the distance. 然后这东方的博士，这些外邦的博士是在天上看见那一颗啊明亮的星星。And they came and announced it to Israel. 然后他们来了以后，把这个信息，实际上是三个博士通知以色列人了。But the image that Jesus showed them puzzled them very much. 但是耶稣在世上。三十三年所表现出来的这个形象，是让犹太人非常的疑惑。This one is the king。他们说，这家伙是是是我们的王。There are no trappings of majesty。这个人看上去一点都没有君王的那种高贵之气，王室的那种威严。He had no signs, no worldly signs of kingship. 另外呢，他也没有这个皇室的标志，他也没有皇室的血统，他跟这个以色列的王这个好像不相干吗 ？Although there were no signs of no signs that they saw, still there were worldly、uh, credentials of royalty. 呃，他们也不是很清楚，就是到底耶稣哦、呃，在这个地上有没有皇室的这个成分，他到底是不是符合格做君王？ His earthly body descended from King David. 但大家实际上知道，圣经说耶稣的肉体乃是亚这个大卫王的后裔。他实实在在是大卫第一个以色列做宝座的这个以色列王国的君王大卫的后人。See that put him in the royal line. 所以耶耶稣有没有皇室的血统？他当然有以色列皇室的血统。And when he was born, he was born in David's town. 那么他生下来的时候生在谁？他生在大卫的镇、大卫的城里面。But he lived like a peasant. 但是他是他是有高贵的大卫王的皇室血统，但是他住在那就像乡下农民。He he looked like a peasant. 他他这个看上去也像乡下种田的农民。Now, although he didn't look kingly, in his、uh, In the life that he was living, in his ministry, he showed who he was. 这个尽管耶稣的外表上看不出他有这个君王的这么一些标志和样子，但是呢，耶稣所做的事情当中，到处都透露出他是不但是以色列的王，乃是这宇宙万物的主宰。Look at Mark one fifteen. 我们来看马可福音第一章的第十五节。新约圣经马可福音一章十五节。He、uh, he says, the time is fulfilled, one fifteen. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. 这个在第一章第十五节，耶稣说，日期满了，上帝的国近了。你们当悔改，信福音。你是意思是 ，The kingdom of God is at hand。他说，天国这个近了。By saying that, he was declaring that the king is present。
当他说上帝的国进了，神的国进了的时候，意思什么呢？就是这个国，这个国的君王已经在这儿了。That's interesting. He says the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. 这很有意思。他说上帝的国进了，或者说上帝的国在这儿啊，你们要悔改。So in other words, he was saying the king is present. Show your respect. 他换句话说。上帝国的君主已经在这儿了，你们要尊尊敬这个上帝国的君主。Now,、uh, the Jews、uh, challenged his driving out demons. 呃，这个犹太人看见他是这个以耶稣能够把这个鬼赶出去。And in Luke eleven twenty, he says this. 在路加福音的第十一章的二十节。If I cast out demons by the finger of God, 他说，如果我是用上帝的手把这个这个鬼赶出去的话呢 ？Then the kingdom of God has come to you. 那么他意思是说，上帝的国就在你们中间了。Now, if there is a kingdom, there has to be a king. 如果说有一个上帝的国，有一个国，那么这这个国就一定有一个君主。And then, if the kingdom of God comes to you, the king must be there. 那如果说上帝的国已经临到你们了，那么意思就上帝国的君王也就临到你们了。So you see again, Jesus is saying the king is present. 所以耶稣实际上在宣布什么呢？这个上帝国的王已经来了。Everywhere he went, he performed miracles. 呃，耶稣在这个传道的时候，他到处行很多的神迹奇事。Miracles that were impossible for any man to do. Ah, he did many miracles. In Luke eight twenty four, it tells about his disciples saw him still a storm. Ah, in Luke eight twenty four, we see that his disciples saw him still a storm. Ah, in Luke eight twenty four, it tells about his disciples saw him still a storm. Ah, in Luke eight twenty four, 狂风巨浪能够平息的。They were afraid that the that their little boat would sink. 他们当时非常的害怕，他们所坐的那条船会沉下去。It was such a severe storm. 因为当时那个这个暴风雨非常的剧烈。Jesus, who was sleeping in the in the in the boat, they woke him up and says, "Lord, aren't you uh, uh, can't you take care of us?" 哦，这些门徒就吓得非常的这个惧惧怕，因为这个船要沉下去。他们到到船头把耶稣摇醒以后说：“这个夫子，我们要沉下去要死了，你不管吗 ？”And Jesus stood up. He didn't say anything to them. He looked at the storm. And he said, "Stop." 哦，耶稣没有，他醒过来以后，他没有去跟门徒说什么。他站在船头，他对这个风浪说：“呃，这个止了吧，住了吧。” Have any of you ever been in a storm? 大家有没有人曾经在一场风暴这个暴风雨当中有没有 ？Did any of you say tell that storm stop and it stopped？ <笑><笑>你碰到大风雨了，什么是风？这个沙尘暴了，什么时候你有没有对着这个这个这个风风暴说停了吧，止了吧 ？You and I know that that's foolishness <笑>。如果你你这样做，但你人家一定会笑你神经有问题，你也会笑人家这个有毛病啊。You and I can't do that. 这没有一个人可以吩咐大自然的风风暴能够停息的。It doesn't matter how much power you have, you can't do it. 啊，无论你有多少的这个能力，你都没有办法做到。你可以控制大自然。Mao could not do that. 毛泽东他想做，但是他也做不到。And uh, and but the, not only did the storm just stop, all was the right away the waves were smooth. 这个不但是这个风浪，这个暴风雨这个停止了，圣经说连这个海面马上就恢复平静。Now you folks these days don't go across the ocean. You don't know what it is. 呃，我们中间大多数人应该都是没有坐船渡海的。But I remember going by ship across the ocean. 但是我曾经记得我是坐在船上啊，横、呃、渡这个大西洋，呃，去去亚洲这个船船飞鹰的。And I remember coming, uh, coming, uh, near to the Philippines, behind a a、uh, typhoon. 呃，我在当时我们的船靠近菲律宾海岸的时候，就是呃，当时我们就知道有一场很大的台风在后面追赶我们。The typhoon was gone. It was quiet. 
。然后当我们停在到菲律宾港的时候，这个台风过了，所以整个就很平静。But the waves are still going like that. 啊，这个台台风是过了，但是这个海浪还是非常的剧烈，这个很高。And the boat was rocking back and forth. 所以，尽管是台风过后的海面，我们的船在海面上还是非常的颠簸。Maybe Bethan can remember the time. 希望当时还是手抱着 Bethan 可能还记得。Maybe Sherry can do it. 但是 Sherry 应该就不太记得，因为他还没生下来。You poor, you poor folks, you have to travel by plane. 呃，你们在座这些可怜人，你们都是坐飞机来的。And so the waves were calm immediately. 啊，是当当时耶稣一吩咐，这个不但暴风雨停止，连这个海平面都立刻恢复平静。那 the, the Jews knew that only God could do that。圣经说，只有这个犹太人知道，只有上帝的能力才可能做到这个事，人没有办法做这个事。Look at Psalm 107。我们来看看，在旧约时代，这个诗篇一百零七啊，大卫是怎么说这个事情。诗篇一百零七 ，Psalm one hundred and seven, verse twenty nine。诗篇一百零七，在第啊 ，one o nine，one o seven，one o seven，twenty nine。在一百零七的二十九节 ，And it says, He caused the storm to be still, so that the waves of the sea were hushed。在旧约圣经诗篇一百零七的第二十九章说，他使狂风止息，波浪就平静。And that was talking about God. 这是在讲谁呢？就是说，上帝能力可以使波浪停息。And the and the and the Jews knew that that、uh, song. 呃，犹太人很熟悉这些诗篇，因为他们是常常唱的这些诗的。And so when Jesus stood there and told the storm stop, and the and the waves smoothed off, they knew it had to be God. No one else could do that. 所以这些犹太人的这个门徒看见耶稣站在船头，吩咐大自然，啊、呃，这个听从他，能够止息这些狂风和巨浪。他们知道，除了神以外，耶稣不可能行这样的神迹。See by this, he was declaring to his disciples, the king is here. 所以大家看见是耶稣行神迹，不是为了显威风，乃是为了要告诉人他自己的真实的身份。他要告诉人。这个王来了 ，and and the passage in Luke tells us that the the disciples were frightened, and they says, "What kind of a man is this?" 这个路加福音里面记载说，当他们看见耶稣平静风浪以后，门徒私下里就非常的惧怕。他们说，这人是什么人？居然大自然都听从他的吩咐。He looked like a man, but he was not acting like a man. 他们看到耶稣看上去就是个普通人，但是他所的他的作为，他能行的这些啊、呃、不可思议的事情，不像神啊、呃，不像人，像神的事情。And that time the disciples didn't fully understand him yet. 这样的事情，当时的门徒还没有完全的参透到底耶稣是什么样的真实身份。So another time, this is in in Matthew fourteen nineteen to twenty. Nineteen and twenty. He told his disciples, "Look at this big crowd around here. They're hungry. Give them some to eat." 呃，当时在这个有很多人就跟着耶稣，耶稣就跟他的门徒说：“你看这么多人跟着我们，你得他们八成是饿了。” And you know the story. They said, "All we have is five fish and two." With the five loaves and two fish, yeah. yeah. Five loaves and two fish. Let me get that mixed up. Ah,、uh, 后来我们知道这个故事在这个马太福音的第呃十十十四章讲到说，当时只有五块饼，两条鱼。And how could we feed all this crowd? They looked around this big crowd. They didn't know how many there were yet. 哦，这个当时门徒就觉得一看，大概四有五千人，五千个男人，弄得哇，还有他们老老婆孩子。那是这么多人，我们五块饼两条鱼，这五饼二鱼的故事，这这怎么能把他们喂饱呢 ？Jesus said, "Give it to me. Give me the the, the loaves and the fish." 耶稣说，你你你们你们把这五块饼两条鱼拿来。And he started to break the loaves and he started to break the fish. 他就开始，耶稣就把这个饼不停的掰开，不停的掰开，把这鱼也是不停的掰开，不停的掰开。And he gave it to the、uh, to the disciples. He said, "Take it up and give it to the people." 他把它掰开以后，他就告诉这门徒说，你们拿出去给他们去吃。And they gave it to the people. Came back, and he was still breaking the bread, breaking the fish. These 门徒出去了，把耶稣掰开的这些饼和鱼拿出去。他回来的时候，耶稣还在掰，还在不停的在掰，跟变魔术似的，还在掰。
and they gave it to him, and they came back, and he was still breaking the fish. Until all of those people had been fed, and they were all full. 最后，当这个外面野外的几千人都吃饱了，也没有人没没有一个人饿着了。But this time they counted the people. There were five thousand men. 最后他们整个算了人，说这个这群人当中有五千个是男人，not including women and children. 但还不包括女人和孩子。But they all had enough. 但是所有人都吃饱了。And Jesus said, "Now go collect up anything that's extra that that has been left." 耶稣说你们不要浪费到外面看还有什么是剩下来的吃剩的没有吃完的 there were 12 full baskets came back 最后圣经说他们光是吃剩下的零碎就加起来就满满了十二大篮子 Now you and I know that only a creator could do a, a, a miracle like that 我们知道这样的事这样无中生有的事只有一个创造的主可以从无创造出有来 God had said that He was King of the world. 上帝说，神说我是这世界的君主，世界的王。And God was the Creator of this world. 而上帝，神本人也是这个世界的创造者。So Jesus, uh, Jesus was saying, uh, He was declaring the divine King is here. 所以耶稣是在说什么？ 他说这上帝这个这个做做在在全地做王的神已经在这了。See for three years, Jesus kept doing before them works that only God could do. 呃，在耶稣被钉死之前的三年多时间里面，耶稣一直在做一件事情，就是执行这些神迹奇事，只有上帝才可以行的这些事。Now he was coming up to the work. He was sent into the world to do. 那么现在时间到了，是耶稣要去做那件他到这世上来要做的主要的事情。He had to die for the sin of mankind. 这个耶稣来的目的，其主要要做件事情就是他要为全人类地上的这个人的罪而死。And mankind had to know without doubt. Who it was that would that died for them? This Jesus not only had to die on the cross for men's sin, for sin's sake, but the Lord had to make sure that the earth people understood clearly and clearly who was wrong, who was the one who was to die for them. So to make sure that they would not be mistaken, he did two more signs. 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 为了让地上的人没不会搞错，那死钉在十字架上的耶稣是的真实身份，上帝还额外另加了两个神迹。Things that Israel could not deny。这两件事情是全以色列没有人可以否认的。First, he arranged to let his friend Lazarus die。第一件事情就是，呃，耶稣。安排了一个一个一个一个一个事件的发生，就是他的好友叫拉萨路的死了。The Lazarus's sisters sent word to him that his the the man he loved was sick. 这个耶稣的啊，这个一个一个非常要好的一个朋友，这个人叫拉萨路，他的两个姐妹姐姐妹呢，在拉萨路还没有死的时候，就托人捎信给耶稣说，这个拉萨路病重。求你呢，啊，来给他医治。And Jesus purposely did not hurry up to go to Jerusalem to heal him. 这个耶稣看上去很不仗义，为什么呢？他故意延迟不去。He waited until he knew by the time he got there, Lazarus would have been dead for days. He planned that. 这个耶稣在上帝的非常严密的计划里面，耶稣很知道。我要拖到一个时间，使得我到那个地方的时候，拉萨路已经死了整整四条。The sisters were very disappointed that he had not come in time. 哦，耶稣没有及时的赶到，他他们的兄弟死了，所以这个拉萨路的两个姐妹非常的失望啊，他们心里非常的悲痛，也很失望耶稣没有来。
And the sister said, "Lord, if you would be here, you could heal him." 哦，其中一个姐妹就责怪耶稣，当面不改，她就话里面拐弯抹角说：“你要是早来，我这个兄弟就不会死了。” Jesus says, "He's going, he's going to live again." 哦，耶稣说，嗯，他活着，他会，他要再活过来。And uh, and Martha said, "Yes, yes, I know. At the end of time, there will be the resurrection." Which is God's doings, and then He'll live. 呃，这个马大说，马大是这个这个拉撒的姐姐。她说，是啊，啊，我们知道到末了的时候，神要让这个死人复活。那么当死人复活的时候，我这个兄弟呢，就可以站在神的面前，就可以又活了。You see, the resurrection was something God was going to do, and they all knew it. 呃，犹太人都知道复活的事乃是上帝的作为。Then Jesus said to Martha, he says, "I." And the resurrection and the life. Jesus 就对马大说：“你不知道我就是复活吗？我就是生命吗 ？”You see what Jesus was saying? 大家看见耶稣对马大在说什么道理呢 ？And uh, uh, where am I here? Oh, here we are. He had, he had, uh, and uh, so he told him. Martha, you got to believe this. So Jesus 就对马大说，你相信吗 ？But but Martha and the other people, well, they were sort of like you and me. I never they never saw and seen anything like this before. 这个马大和他们的这些人，他们就像我们今天坐在这里的你我一样啊，很少看见一些惊人的神迹。What what is what is he talking about anyway? 所以他们就在想说，耶稣在说什么 ？And then Jesus says, "Show me where you buried him." 耶稣看他们不信啊，心里非常的忧伤，他就说，你带我去看他埋在哪里。And、uh, when he got there, there was this cave with a big stone in front of it. 他们就一一窝人，好都出来了，好不管是耶稣，还有他这个拉撒的两个姐妹，还有所有人看见有一个坟墓，坟墓的面前有一块大石头挡着。And Jesus removed the stone. 耶稣说：“你们把这个石头给他挪开。”Martha said, oh, oh, no, no, you can't do that.” 哦，他们这两个姐妹说：“是是是，主啊，这使不得，那千万使不得。”He'd been dead for days. 这这已经死了四天了。And it'll stink now if you open that. 这你把它打开，那个那个臭味，那受不了了，那个臭臭死了。And Jesus said to Mary, "Mary, didn't I say that if you believed, you see the glory of God?" 呃，这个耶稣就对玛利亚说：“玛利亚，你我难道没有跟你讲过，你若相信的话，你必看见上帝的荣耀吗 ？”You see, not the glory of man, the glory of God. 大家看见这个荣耀不是人的荣耀，人的光耀，那是上帝的荣耀。And so, Martha,、uh, okay. She told the the people there to roll the stone away. 最后这姐妹说，那吩咐这手下人说，把这个坟墓前面那块石头给它挪开。And、um, Jesus came up to the to the grave, in which there was the rotting body lying on the slab. 耶稣来到这个坟墓的洞口。他这在这里头，这坟墓里头躺着一个已经这个死了四天，尸体已经腐烂了的拉萨路。And he called out, "Lazarus, come out!" 耶稣说，拉萨路出来。And everybody standing there looking saw that rotting body stand up. 每一个在坟墓的洞口围着耶稣的人看见那尸体站起来了。And come out of the grave. 然后那尸体就从坟墓里出来了。Jesus says, "Untie him and loose him." 这些人都吓坏了，傻了就不会动了。耶稣说：“你们去把他解开啊。”And everybody saw Lazarus perfectly well. 所有的人看见从这裹尸布里面出来的拉萨路，全身非常的健康，非常的正常，就是个大活人。There was not a rotting body. It was well. It was a living body. 它不是一个腐烂的尸体，乃是一个鲜活的一个一个全新的一个啊、呃、一个一个正常的身体。And all those people saw that happen. 所有这些人都是目击证人。And they all knew only God can do a thing like that. 所有这些人都承认，也都知道一件事：只有上帝可以让死了四天的腐烂了的一个尸体能够活过来，成为一个活人。And the 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 news spread 
through to Jerusalem, because they were only just a little, a uh, few kil, a few miles from Jerusalem. 这件事就跟原子弹爆炸一样，那消息传的快的很，马上就传到一一路撒冷城里去，所有人都知道这事儿。And many of them bleed. This is the Son of God. This is the Messiah. This is the King of Israel. 很多人就都相信，为什么这样能行这样事情的人，除非上帝，上帝的儿子才可能行这样的神迹。The miracle could not be denied by anybody. So Jesus 行的让死了四天的拉萨路复活的事情是没有人可以否认，没有人可以抵赖的一个事实。When it was told to the priests and the Pharisees, they could not deny it. 哦，当这个消息传到这个祭司长、传到啊法利赛人耳朵里面的时候，他们不能说拉萨路没有复活。那复活拉萨路还活着，还还大活人，不是活蹦乱跳的吗 ？You see, in this powerful way, Jesus was declaring. The king, the divine king, is present. 通过让死了四天拉萨路复活，耶稣宣告天国的王已经来了。Then, I suppose to himself, Jesus says, "I will show them one more thing." 然后耶稣说，我在地上还要再行一个神迹，让这些人看。The priests and the and the Pharisees still would not accept it. 这些法利赛人，这些做祭司长的啊、呃，这些宗教领袖们，他们还是不愿意相信耶稣就是上帝，就是上帝儿子。Which is the most ridiculous thing. 这件事在我们后人看来，这是非常荒唐的事情。他们看见这铁一般的事实，他们不能否认。You would say, how stupid can some people be? 啊、呃，我们会说，哎，这些人当时定死耶稣的这些人都是有眼无珠的那个那个，多么的荒唐，多么的愚蠢，他们根本就是非常的一一群蠢人。And so he, Jesus said, "Okay, I got one more, th one more thing to show them who I am." Then, 看到这群人不信，耶稣说，我再行一个神迹，要让他们看见我到底是谁。If they deny me this time, they will have to deny their own scriptures. 这个时候，这一次。这个神迹行完以后，如果他们还拒绝、还否认的话，他们必须要。他们诋毁的已经不再是不再是耶稣，他们诋毁是这个犹太人自己读的这一卷圣经了。And so now look at the passage that you read just a little while ago. 所以我们刚才读的这段圣经是在约翰福音十二章的十二到十五节。Those in Jerusalem, uh, heard that he was coming. 呃，在耶路撒冷城里面的人知道那让拉萨路从死里复活的耶稣要来了。And they had heard about uh, the uh, Healing of Lazarus. They also heard about how Jesus healed the sick man for four days. They went out to meet this one who had raised Lazarus from the dead. The whole city was filled with excitement. They went to the gate to see who was there. They went to see who was there. They went to see who was there. And Jesus told his disciples uh, to uh, uh, get him a donkey. Uh, Jesus told his disciples to give me a donkey to ride on. You will go to Jerusalem. And he would enter Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Jesus, he said, I will sit on a donkey, on a donkey's donkey, to go to Jerusalem. Now, the two crowds met, uh, waving uh, palm branches. Uh, 当时有两群人，他们都在摇那个棕榈枝啊，棕榈枝。And they were shouting all around in this. 然后他们在那里大声的呼唤，就像这样。Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the uh, of the Lord. 这个他们怎么欢呼呢？他们说：“何塞纳，奉这个奉上主奉主名来的以色列王是应当称颂的。” Even the King of Israel. 他讲的是什么呢？是奉主名来的以色列王。The whole crowd was saying, "This is the King of Israel. He's here." 所有这些耶路撒冷城里出来的百姓居民呢，他们都说这是以色列的王，他现在来了。The, the, the people were declaring the divine king is present。他们都在宣布说，这个上帝所差来的，这做以色列王的已经来了。And the uh, the uh, um, prophet Zechariah, five hundred years before, had uh, said, "Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold." Your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. Oh, we know that in Jesus' time, 500 years, the prophet Zechariah wrote this passage. 
，他说啊、呃，西安的民啊，你们要高兴，为什么呢？因为你们的王骑着驴，骑着驴的驹子，谦谦和和的来了。You see, the the their scriptures, their own scriptures said, the king, your king is going to come in. Riding a donkey into Jerusalem. 是以色列人奉为至宝的，他们的经典就是旧约圣经里面讲的，他们自己的先知所说的。你们的王骑着驴驴的驹子，谦谦和和的来了。The the Jews, the priests and the Pharisees, they knew the passage in Zechariah nine nine. 呃，很清楚，这些宗教领袖，这些法利赛人，他们都知道，以色列人都知道，在撒迦利亚书里面第九章第九节所所讲的这一个这段关于预预言耶路撒冷啊，耶稣要进耶路撒冷的这么一段预言。And here was Jesus entering Jerusalem. 现在耶稣来了，他真的进这个啊耶路撒冷城。Declaring in the clearest way possible, Israel, behold. Your divine King is present. Jesus 来，他们欢呼说：“这个上帝所差来的以色列王，他已经来了。” Now that divine King had a work to do. 那么这个神，这个呃上奉主名来的这位王呢，他有一件事要做。So, but and one week later, there could be no question who it was. They were crucifying. 一个礼拜以后，犹太人当中就不会有争论了，就是他们不会搞错，这个他们这个定死的这一个人到底是一个什么样的真实身份。Pilate, the Roman governor, asked Jesus, "Are you then a king?" 呃，大家记得罗马巡抚比拉多问耶稣说：“你是以色列的王吗 ？”And he said, "Yes, I am." 耶稣说：“我是。” And、uh, Pilate tried to release him. 比拉多实际想办法是要想放了耶稣的。But the priests and the Pharisees they persuaded the crowd so that they kept yelling, "Crucify him! Crucify him!" 但是这些祭司、宗教领袖和法利赛人，他们就迫使啊，这个给比拉多强大的舆论的压力。他们说，钉死他，钉死他。So in the end, Pilate had to give in to the crowd, and he. Uh, um, sentenced him to death on a cross. So, 最后比拉多没有办法，他说：“那好，我就钉死他。”所以，耶比拉多就签署了一个法令，钉耶稣十字架。So you see, it wasn't only the Jews that crucified him. 所以我们看见，在钉死耶稣的事情上，不光是犹太人有份。Pilate was a Gentile. 这个比拉多是一个外邦的一个一个一个一个军官啊，一个一个一个一个官长。And he was the one who. Uh, made the decree that he had to be crucified. 而且是他亲手下的这个死死执行死刑的通知书，就是定耶稣十字架。So we Gentiles are just as liable as uh as the Jews were. 所以我们这些外邦人也沾了耶稣的宝血啊！我们呃不能说是犹太人把他定死，外邦人照样有份。But when a person was crucified, his crime had to be written on a on a card and hung around his neck, and then later. Pinned to his uh, nailed to his uh, cross. 根据当时的犹太人的这个钉死犯人的这个规矩，就是这个犯人啊、呃，这个身上要挂一块牌子，这块牌子就写上这个人的名字和他的这个罪名是什么。And so Pilate uh, wrote this uh, declaration and nailed it to the cross, which declared the truth when it said, "Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews." 这个，但是比拉多很有意思。比拉多没有把写一个什么罪名给耶稣，比拉多只是在在这个耶稣的十字架上面钉了一块牌子，上面写的什么呢？拿撒勒人耶稣，以色列的王。So the divine King of the world died for the sin of his created beings。这个至高无上的，这世界的主宰，世界的君王，最后为全然的罪。无罪被钉在十字架上面。So you see, the Magi, they were right, and it says, "Where is the king of? Where is the one born king of the Jews? We want to worship him." 这三个东方的外邦的博士来到耶路撒冷，说：“你们中间，你们生下来为以色列王的那一位在哪里？我们特来敬拜他。” And today is the anniversary of the day that Jesus. 
came into Jerusalem riding on a colt. 今天是一年一度的节日，就是什么呢？耶稣进耶路撒冷的纪念日，那是在公元四三十五年的时候发生的。The divine king of the world rode into Jerusalem so that Jerusalem would know absolutely that he was the king of the world. 这上帝的儿子耶稣。世界的君王，以色列人的王，骑在这个驴驹上面进耶路撒冷，使得全全以色列，包括全人类都知道，他们钉在十字架上的这一个人不会搞错的，他就是上帝的儿子。And that king did his work, so that you and I can call him king. 这一个王做了他要做的事情，在十字架上面，使得我们可以称他为王。So that we can worship him and Uh, acknowledge him as our king. 使得我们可以承认这个君王，我们可以认识这个君王，而且呢，知道他可以做我们的王。Isn't that a wonderful story? 这是不是一个非常奇妙的一个福音 ？I mean, I, I, it, it always thrills me every time I, every time I、uh, read it or hear it. It, it, it just makes me feel, oh my, who am I that he? The creator of the universe would even look at me. This Jesus' story, I see every time, every time, every time. Every time I read Jesus' story, I feel very humbled. I feel very humbled in God's presence and say, "Lord, I am a sinner. Please forgive me." And so, as we pray, 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 as Of the universe did for you and me. So we will spend the next time to pray. To pray, we should remember this man who came down from heaven to save us, 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 But don't only just remember what he did. Remember who he is. We don't only just remember what he did. Remember who he is. We don't only just remember what he did. Remember who he is. We don't only just remember what he did. Remember who he is. We don't only just remember what he did. 所以我们祷告的时候，每一个弟兄姐妹都开口祷告。我们要来告诉我们在天上坐着为王的耶和华，他他这个这个、羔羊，那我们的王是，我们是如何的纪念他。And Michael will close us in prayer. 我们等一下，我来做结束祷告。Father, come to us. Lord Jesus, I know who you are. I know you are. Thank you. 将士在马厩里面，主要在这个世上谦卑度日，最后为我们所有人的罪上十字架，被钉在十字架上面，直到你死了为止。主啊
，求你赦免我们，我们曾经有眼不认识你，我们的心都像石头一样刚硬，我们的心上面都用金刚钻刻了罪恶，不能抹去，我们自己的眼泪也不能抹去，我们的血也不能抹去，那用金刚钻刻在石头上的这些罪业，没有一个靠自己的善行可以得解放、得拯救。没有一个罪人靠自己的努力行善可以逃脱上帝对罪人的审判，没有一个人，主啊，没有一个人可以在你面前夸口，没有一个可以称义。感谢你，我们的王，你不但是以色列人的王，你是全人类的君君王，因为你造了这宇宙万物，你造了我们老祖宗亚当，你也造了我们在座的在世上的每一个人，无论我们认你为主，认你为王，还是我们。不相信，不认你为王，你都是我们的王，因为你是万王之王，你是万主之主。主啊，时候将到，你要坐在那宝座上审判全地，没有一个罪人可以逃脱，死了的、活了的都要站在你的面前受审判，为自己的罪交账。主啊，感谢你，那钉在十字架上面的，那从那从天国来的，那骑着驴的驹子，千千和和的。束手就擒，心甘情愿为我们死在十字架上了。我们这些罪人的心是何等的刚硬，居然拒绝你，居然弃绝你，居然把你钉在十字架上。主啊，求你赦免以色列人的罪，求你赦免外邦人的罪，赦免我们抵挡你的罪。但愿我们这里有耳的都能听见，有眼的都能够看见，我们的心都能打开。主啊，谦卑在你的面前，任你为我们的主，为我们的王。感谢你，你若不进耶路撒冷，我们全都在耶路撒冷里面，没有没没有人可以进去。你若不上十字架，我们全要上十字架。你若不下地狱，我们全都要下地狱。感谢你，感谢你的爱，主啊，我们思念在十字架上悬挂的主。那在星期五晚上被残忍的钉死在上面，后来有一个人，这冰冷的尸体被从十字架上取下来，主啊。三天，在坟墓里面，后来又复活了我们的主，我们的王。但愿我们今天听见的，没有一个不上天堂的；但愿我们听见的，没有一个下地狱的。感谢你，感谢你十字架的大爱。我们的王来了，但愿我们的心都预备好，迎接我们的王，称我们耶稣基督做我们生命的主宰，生命的王。我们这样的祷告，奉耶稣基督的生命。Amen. And that divine king is here right now. Now, this divine king is here right now. Remember that. 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 Remember that.